Today is 323. And I was not going to do a video today, but it's like the Holy Spirit just came over me. And as you can tell, I'm in a much better mood today. Um, there has been the Holy Spirit outpouring on so many people. We are a day before 324. And as you guys know, for 10 years, I've been seeing that, as, you know, 324, 24 in general. We know this is the beginning, what, ending of Purim. And Purim has a lot of significances in the Bible about, you know, the escape and how that ties in with Esther and, you know, the celestial signs. So, um, today I had, this isn't going to be a long video. I had, I don't know if they want me speaking their names, but I'm just going to do their first name. Um, there was Jamie Amber her two children, Sonia, her children, um, me, and a uh, Rhonda, and a handful of other people that I've had since yesterday, these plague dreams, okay? And I've already showed you in my videos about what they mean, okay? And so um, I just want to say that I, okay, I know because everybody's been having stuff about Texas, too. Um, about how it's just pointing to Texas. Well, Texas right now, they said that they have an emergency alert. I actually want to get the information out. They have an emergency warning. Emergency officials in Texas warn schools should close down for the uh, eclipse. Okay. And then I had a buddy, Daryl who had a dream also this morning. As the sun got blocked out, there was a massive earthquake which occurred, and he saw a bright light. Okay, God was leading me to a Bible study that is so deep, I can't even present it. Like I said, it is... I'm just... We are there, guys, is all I gotta say. So, during this eclipse, all right, but prior to, this is... This is how I see everything happening because America is Mystery Babylon. We are Babylon, whether people want to believe it or not. We have committed the seven abominations. We are the last empire that's going to fall and we're going to fall hard. So on the 331, right after the sacrifice, they have been talking about a 9-11 type of attack. But we don't, we're not 100% sure if it's going to be the 31st, the 1st. We're not even sure that it's a thing. It could just be false information that's floating around. Like I said, I don't, I, I'm not God. I don't, I don't know. I'm just presenting what I've found out. And there's a lot of other channels that have been talking about it. And they have a lot more confirmation than I could give. Okay, so the way I see it, we've got... The penumbral eclipse, the lunar eclipse on Passover. We have the ending of Purim tomorrow and the 25th beginning Passover. And we have the Feast of Unleavened Bread. What is it for seven days, eight days? And that lasts until the 30th, 31st, first. And then we have seven days later is this sol total solar eclipse. Okay, this is, okay, um, a buddy of mine, um, just sent me, and I know in my dream where I said, um, Mercia, Mercia, Mercia. Um, it actually, what I was writing is Merica. Okay, and I know I said that, and Mercia represents mercy. Okay, mercy on America. God's not going to have mercy. Okay, he gave us as a whole a lot more time to repent than he did to Nineveh, than he did to Lot, than he did, you know, for the Sodom and Gomorrah, than he did the timing of Noah. I mean, it's all there. Um, and technically, he gave Noah's timing 120 years, and they still didn't see it. So after all the destruction of all this stuff that's happened all of them had what in common this eclipse okay now what's significant about this eclipse okay is during when jesus died during that eclipse there was a massive earthquake which split the veil right so there had to have been something that was so big that blocked out the sun for those three hours because an eclipse would not do that there has to be some type of celestial like 
being. There has to be some type of celestial planet or star that's up there. And I believe it is wormwood. Okay. I want to present this Bible study. It's spewing inside of me. But if I did, it would, you guys just wouldn't even hear it. It would go in one ear and out the other. Okay. So this, this being this eclipse, um, in the book of Revelation, All right, I'm just going to read in uh, the book of Revelation, <sighs> what was it, chapter 7, nope, yeah, yeah, that there is a great star that fell from heaven, no, this is for in chapter 8, actually, where it says that there's a great star in heaven. Uh, that was cast down, thrown to a sea, and it became blood. And the name of the star is Wormwood. This is uh, 8.11, Revelation 8.11. The name of the star is Wormwood. All right, this is exactly what John T., Mike Around the World, Paul Bagley, and I know a lot of people don't listen to them, but I'm telling you that dis despite everything, what they have been warning is this that's coming. Okay, and I believe that this is what's going to be blocking out why so many people have seen the darkness. All right, here's another thing. I want to present this Bible study so bad and I can't. Ugh. Um, so we have in the book of... Okay, so now what I wanted to tell you, um, I can present part of it, just not all of it. Thank you, God. So... In, um, we're, I'm going to talk to you about Revelation chapter 17. Okay. Re um, so if in fact that, you know, we have the red heifer sacrifice and we have the lunar eclipse, the blood moon, the blood shall be turned, you, you know, the moon, excuse me, goodness gracious. So the sun will not give its light and the moon will turn to blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. Okay. Um, and then I believe, I believe, so we're going to have massive earthquakes. I believe this is the first sign saying almost like you, you see him, like you're watching somebody drive down the road. There's the first sign. I see him. I see him. I see him. And you're screaming. There he is. There he is. Well, then he pulls into the drive. Okay. So that would be, okay. This April 8th eclipse. Okay, that I believe, but the red heifer sacrifice is bringing upon judgment to to bring in the time of Jacob's trouble. Hear me out. April 8th. Now, this is what I see happening with this bioweapon and how many people that I have personally read and seen and watched and heard. God is pouring, I mean, pouring his spirit out. Okay. That this bioweapon that they are going to spray, they, they're looking up at this that only lasts 3 minutes and 22 seconds. Okay, they're going to be spraying this. Okay, that's why they said stock up on food and water. So we have the first part, 31st and 1st, possible collapse, the beginning part of it. And then everyone's going to be sprayed with the mass deception. They have their blinders on with their eyes from this eclipse, okay. So you have FEMA that is there. You have the National Guard that is there. Why are they warning us of this? Because they know what's coming. And then what happens, it's considered the Great Reset, the 21st, as I have stated. So that is two weeks later, like they said, stock up on food and water and stuff for two weeks, enough for at least two weeks, some even longer. Okay, and this would make absolute perfect sense. Because the sign in the constellation, you have Uranus and you have Jupiter, the representation of God and, um, I, uh, Amy needs to help me out. I forgot. But anyways, Taurus the bull represents financial. Okay. And they both go into it and it, and when it happens, it's like, it's as fast as lightning. It happens in the blink of an eye. It switches over really super fast and i believe that that is going to be the new world order that gets set in the the digital the dollar will be collapsed that is what i truly believe um and this um and then it says okay because we have 40 days of repentance like 
Noah's timing. Okay, to Pentecost. And so in Revelation 17, all right, um, so one of the angels who had seven bowls came and talked with me and said to me, Come, I will show you the judgment of the great harlot who sits on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth were made drunk with the wine. Okay, so he carried me out away into the spirit, into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast, which was full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. This is also in the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 12, seven heads and ten horns coming up, which is the beast out of the earth, which you know the Antichrist is going to rise from, okay? And on her forehead, the name was written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and of the abomination of the earth. And so on, I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. The Bible study that I actually want to dive into pertains to this exact verse, but God has me shush. I cannot present it and it's eaten at me because I know some of you would love to hear it and a lot of you would not. So when God reveals it to me, I will absolutely reveal it to you. Otherwise, email me and... Um, like I said, it's it's extremely, extremely deep. And a lot of you won't get it. Um, but I'm telling you that John and them are on to something major. Because I believe immediately after we leave and stuff, this is when Wormwood is going to fall upon the earth. Mystery Babylon gets destroyed. This is when the nukes are going to come down and everything. And why everyone has seen it. And this star that falls is a reddish color. All of us have seen it. I have seen it many, 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 many times. And the dead in Christ are going to rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up in the air with them. Okay? Okay, so now, the other thing I wanted to tell you was, a friend of ours blew my mind. I did not. Well, she's not really a friend. She used to be. My husband used to work for their company, putting in water softeners. This is going to blow your mind. Guess what the name of their company is? Sky Management. Fine. Today, their daughter, Sky, okay, Skylar, they call her Sky, is picking out her wedding dress. I didn't even know she was old enough to get married. I think she's 21, maybe? 19 or 21? 19 or 21, somewhere between there. And I found that just as of today, that was posted. Like, that that threw me for a loop. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is either. So God is just doing these little inklings, the dreams, and then these little tiny uh, events. And then what I happened to see, okay, which I believe they're going to explain away the aliens took us and blah, 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 blah. And whatever they spray, it is going to be this plague that we all dreamt about. It's going to eat and boil their skin. And it's talked about in the book of Revelation. I believe, and I'm just going to... No, I don't believe it's, I, I'm not going to tell you what I believe, but I do want to tell you that this was something so, it blew my mind. I don't have a colored printer. I got rid of it. So if you guys can see this picture, it is of an alien city. Do you guys see that? I read the comments. There was 18 comments and I thought, how absurd are people? It's uh, by Chris Delano. After the next wartime uses of nuclear weapons, there will be a fallen angel invasion at the Resolution Copper Mine at the Oak Flat, Arizona, Angels Canyon to the Apaches. Discovered by the nearby Vatican Observatory, which sits on the sacred portal to their star people, and these enemies of God and mankind will be welcomed by Pope Francis as he affirmed in 2014, Revelation 12, 7 through 12. And it will be similar to the pre-programming series of the V, 2009-11. I have not seen this, but a friend of mine, Ron, sent it to me and said, have you seen the movie 2013? Um, and what it, what it deals with is, um, what it deals with is the cyber attack from China. That they're able to shut down the whole entire U.S., blackout completely that I won't, um, that I won't, sorry, I just, somebody texted me and it distracted me, um, but it shuts down all the communications of the United States through the computer through China, and I just, I just found that interesting because it shuts down even the water, and this, none of this is coincidence, I believe 100% with all of my heart from the 24th to the 8th is going to rock 
your socks. And I believe the eighth is going to be the biggest wake up call to people that they, it's going to flip their minds. That is where people's going to start acting crazy. And I really, really, really want you guys to understand revelation six, eight on and where we're at in prophecy. If that doesn't give you a hint of what I have been shown. And so a lot of people still don't want to understand about the last days that we are not there, that we haven't seen the signs. Well, this I stole from John because I found it very interesting. Okay. The Nineveh total solar eclipse, 762 BC. The Burr Sagil, I can't even pronounce that, Sagil eclipse occurred over the Assyrian capital city of Nineveh in the middle of the reign of Jeroboam II, who ruled Israel from 786 to 746 BC. According to 2 Kings 14.25, the prophet Jonah lived and prophesied in Jeroboam's reign. The biblical scholar Donald Wiseman had speculated that the eclipse took place around the Jonah. When Jonah arrived in Nineveh and urged the people to repent, otherwise the city would be destroyed. And I think this is where a lot of people in America think that we can just repent and that America is going to be fine and that we're going to have Donald Trump to come back and he's going to be our saving grace. Er, wrong. Um, that That's just not so. We're so far into the game. And this would explain the dramatic repentance of the people of Nineveh as described in the book of Jonah. Ancient cultures, including Assyria, viewed eclipses as omens of imminent destruction, and the empire was in chaos at this time, struggling with revolts, famines, and two separate outbreaks of plagues. Jonah 1, 1 through 2. Now the word of the Lord came into Jonah, the son of Am Am Amity, uh, Amity, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, the great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. The city of Jonah, Texas, is the path of totality for the total solar eclipse of 2024. Observers there will see approximately 2M, uh, 49.4S of totality. It is, it's, it's to me, it, it just doesn't get any more clearer than this. Okay, and then I'm going to read you a dream that I had of my daughter, and I wasn't even going to present it because I didn't even think that it would even be fitting in these times, but it absolutely is, it, and it makes perfect sense. So I just woke up. This was on 320. I had this dream that Olivia, whom is my daughter, she is 16, was pregnant, and we was headed to Texas. don't know why we was headed to Texas. We was in the bathroom in a stall, and... Um, her boyfriend Matthew was there and I said what are you doing and she said nothing and so I said what is this and it was a pregnancy test and I dug it out of the trash and it was positive and it was perfect I seen it plain as day it was pink a pink plus and a minus I mean she was pregnant and I said we have to keep this a secret especially from your father and she was like I'm like 12 weeks long or something like that and then I woke up and I thought, well, maybe this is a sign that maybe my daughter might be pregnant. But I was like, no, prayed about it and prayed about it. And with all these events that's coming up, I believe that this is the birthing of the Revelation 12 sign. Okay, because Olivia means anointing and it means new beginnings and a place of rest. And it also represents olive tree. And her nickname from a lot of the family is Olive. Um, and we know how that represents in the Bible you know, along with the fig trees and, you know, the olive branches and things like that. How that represents about the timing around the rapture. Okay, and Matthew means a gift of God or the gift of Yahweh. And um, I believe what was being kept a secret was exactly what is going to happen. Because Daniel was told to shut the books up to keep it a secret until the end of time. And then God revealed it. So I truly believe that um, that dream was very significant to this time as well. And the more dreams, the more dreams, the more stuff that I, that it just, just keeps flooding. I cannot keep up on the videos to present this type of information. Okay, now we are going to identify the marks of the last days. Unpresented warfare, Matthew 24, 7 and Revelation 6, 4. Famine, Matthew 24, 7, and Revelation 6, 5, 6, and 8. 
pestilence, Luke 21, 11, Revelation 6, 8, increase in lawlessness, Matthew 24, 12, earthquakes, Matthew 24, 7. There's a lot more scriptures to go with this. These are just key points. Excuse me. No, it's got like hiccups or something. Critical times are hard to deal with. 2 Timothy 3, 1. Incoordinate or inordinate love of money, Second Timothy three two. Disobedient to parents, Second Timothy three two. A lack of natural affection, Second Timothy three three. Loving pleasures rather than God, Second Timothy three four. Also, you know, uh, Matthew six nineteen through twenty one. A lack of self control, Second Timothy three three. Without love of goodness, Second Timothy three three, taking no note of impending danger, Matthew twenty four thirty nine, ridicules rejecting proof of the last days, Second Peter three three through four, global preaching of God's kingdom, Matthew twenty four fourteen. Pray over this as always, like I said, and um, if God leads, I'm going to present this Bible study, and it's going to wow. So I will see you guys there in the air. God bless. Okay, one last thing. Forgot to say, I always do this. Um, when Satan gets his time, Jesus is not going to completely just be removed. What he's going to do is sit back and he's going to watch. He's going to give him his time so that he can play, so he can deceive the world, so he thinks he's king king of the world. That's why in 2 Thessalonians 2 on, or, uh, it's it says that he gets his time okay where he is going to have a temple to state that he is god okay and that's why i said you have to use discernment on the abomination that makes desolate i have to be quiet um next time i will reveal to you um hopefully if god willing will allow me to reveal it so all i gotta say is i love you guys don't fall into this mass deception major major things are about to happen and i believe it's the plagues i believe that this is the judgment timing the antichrist is getting ready to come on a scene new world order is getting ready to get switched over um and the timing of exodus the earthquakes all of it all of it's getting ready to happen and this world's getting ready to be darker than you've ever seen it before